You may have seen a news article stating that scientists may have severely miscalculated how many people are on Earth, but never gave a specific number. Hi, I'm your favorite dysfunctional scientist, and I've run the numbers for you so you don't have to. Right now, there's roughly 8 billion people on Earth. And some researchers got together and found out that there's been severe underreporting for rural populations. That makes sense. Many countries may not have the infrastructure to actually count how many people are living in rural areas. It's also a bit more complicated than just looking at census data to figure out how many people are living in certain areas and how many occupants there are. Let's think about it a little bit. Roughly 43% of human populations live in rural areas. They suggested on the low end they may have miscalculated by roughly 53%. If that's true, then we're looking at a human population of 11.91 billion. That really would be a severe undercalculation. And very disturbing because we have reached roughly, you know, that 10 billion carrying capacity that everyone likes to say. I'm also not entirely sure why they say 10 billion. I would say we've already reached our carrying capacity, but we can get there. Now the math gets a little bit hazy, and this is probably why they didn't get specific numbers for you. Many countries, despite having large rural populations, really aren't that bad at undercounting. Let's assume just a third of the rural population has been significantly undercounted. That would give us more like half a billion people that have been undercounted. Bringing us to somewhere between 8 billion and 8.6 billion people on Earth. Still a massive undercalculation. What does this mean for us? We may be closer to that carrying capacity than we thought. And let's face it, the world is not doing great. You can disagree with that, but we have 3% of total insect biomass disappearing every year. That is insane and we need insects. I've seen varying estimates on it, but some say that we use between 13 and 50% of all primary production on Earth. From my own field, I know that we double primary production on Earth in the form of usable nitrogen, which is insane. We have very clearly changed the landscape. We can see that from space. A lot of researchers like to call the current state of things the Anthropocene because we are experiencing a mass extinction event. We are seeing the decline in human birth rates, so it's believed that we'll reach the carrying capacity and start to see a decline within the next century. Perhaps sooner. If certain events happen, we may see human population decline anyway, as we have seen many times through history. One thing I do know is that any time we have a large, relatively homogenous population, we do see things come in and reduce that population. So I wouldn't worry about it too much. What I do worry about is just making the Earth a pleasant place to live for ourselves and for our children. Somehow we have the most technologically advanced society that Earth has ever seen with a declining literacy rate, the production of more than enough food to feed the entire world's population, and yet malnutrition is rampant. Also, why can't the world have healthcare? Really, why? Why can that not be priority number one? I do not have answers for you, but yes, there's probably a lot more people on Earth than we thought.